Hello again. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion of Voronoi diagrams by talking about how to add a site to an existing Voronoi diagram. So let's get started. Here are the steps that we're going to follow. We're going to look at the cell that contains the site that we have added to the existing Voronoi diagram. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a perpendicular bisector between the new site and the site that is already in that cell. So we're going to construct that segment um, of the perpendicular bisector that is in the existing cell. We're not going to go beyond that cell. So eventually we're going to hit a new edge. And when we do, we're going to create a vertex. So then that vertex is going to be touching a new cell. And so what we're going to do is we are going to create a new perpendicular bisector starting at that vertex um, between the new site and the uh, existing site in that cell um, and create another vertex. And we're going to keep doing this until we don't create any new vertices. Once we do that, we're going to remove any segments of edges that were in the existing Voronoi diagram but they exist in the new cell, so we don't need those parts um, of those edges anymore. So let's look at some examples. We're going to start simply with a Voronoi diagram that has three sites already, A, B, and C, and it has the three edges between those sites, but now we have a new site, D, and so we want to create a cell so that all of the points in that cell are closer to site D than they are to A, B, and C. So first, since site D is in the existing cell that has C in it, we will first construct a perpendicular bisector between C and D. The midpoint between C and D is 2, 5. The slope between C and D is negative 1 half. So the slope of my perpendicular bisector is going to be positive 2 over 1. Now remember, I'm not drawing the whole thing. I'm only drawing the part that is in the cell that has site C in it. And that has equation y minus 5 equals 2 times parentheses x minus 2. So what happened is I've already hit an edge. So when I hit that edge, I'm creating a vertex. That vertex also touches cell A, the cell that has site A in it. So now I'm dealing with the cell that has site A in it. And I will draw a perpendicular bisector between uh, site A and site D. So let's look at those two points. The midpoint between A and D is negative 1 and 2. The slope between those two points is 1 7th. So the new slope, the slope of my perpendicular bisector, is going to be negative 7. And remember, I'm only drawing the part of that perpendicular bisector that is in the cell that I'm currently concerned with, which is the cell that contains site A. So I'm only drawing this little part of it right here. It has equation y minus 2 equals negative 7 times parentheses x plus 1. And so I've drawn that part of the perpendicular bisector. Um, but notice how I didn't have to create a new vertex. So those are the two new edges that I've created. Um, but now you'll see that there's part of an edge um, between uh, cells A and C that I don't need anymore. And that's the part that is in the new cell that has site D in it. And so I'm just going to remove that part of that edge because now I don't need it anymore. So now I've created a new cell. It has site D in it so that every point in that cell is closer to site D than it is to the other three. So here's another example. Um, we have sites A, B, and C again, and I've added site D. So we're going through the same process. D is in the cell that has C in it, so I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector between C and D. The midpoint between those two points is 1, 2. The existing slope is 1, so the slope of the perpendicular bisector is going to be negative 1. So the perpendicular bisector has equation y minus 2 equals negative 1 times x minus 1, and I'm only drawing that in the cell that has C in it. Um, now I create a vertex because I've hit an edge. That edge is touching cell A, so now I need to create a perpendicular bisector between um, point A and point D. The midpoint between A and D is negative 2 and 4. The slope between those two points is negative 4, so the slope of the perpendicular bisector is going to be positive 1 fourth. Um, I'm only going to draw the part of that perpendicular bisector that is in cell A. 
that perpendicular bisector has equation y minus 4 equals 1 fourth times parentheses x plus 2, and there it is there. And once again, I've hit an edge. So that means I create a new vertex. That vertex is touching cell B. So I now have to create a perpendicular bisector between B and D. Uh, the midpoint between B and D is negative 4 and 1. The slope between them is negative 1 third, so the new slope is going to be positive 3. I'm only going to draw the part that is in cell B. So the perpendicular bisector has the equation y minus 1 equals 3 times parentheses x plus 4. And what happens is there's no new vertex created, so I am finished uh, drawing perpendicular bisectors. Now all I have to do is just remove um, any segments from the original edges that are now in cell D, and that's what I've done. So now I've got four cells, um, and all the points in cell D are closer to site D than they are to the other three sites. Here's a final example. We're going to uh, look at this diagram. It's got four cells already, and I want to add a fifth site, which I'm calling E. Since site E is already in cell D, then I'm going to construct a perpendicular bisector between D and E. There it is right there. Um, it has uh, equation x equals 4. Notice how there's two new vertices created, and from here I can choose which vertex to start from to create the next perpendicular bisector. So I just randomly chose to do the one that is touching cell A. So the perpendicular bisector between uh, sites A and E is drawn in gray there. It has equation y minus 6 equals 1 third times x minus 1 in parentheses. And I've hit another edge, so I create a new vertex. So now I'm looking at um, site E and the new cell that I've just encountered, which is B. I'm looking at the perpendicular bisector between sites B and E. Okay. So there it is. It has equation x equals negative 2, and I create a new vertex again because I've hit a new edge. Now I'm looking at sites C and E, and I construct the perpendicular bisector between those. That has equation uh, y minus 0 equals negative 1 third times parentheses x minus 1, and I draw that in, but only the part that's in cell C. So now there are no new vertices created, so I've used up all the vertices. So the last step is just to erase the parts of the existing edges that are within cell E. And so that's what I do, and that is my new updated Voronoi diagram with site E in it. All the points within that little trapezoid there are closer to site E than they are to any of the other four sites. So that is adding a site to a Voronoi diagram. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.